see people like Stu Webb, who was an FBI informant, who actually took, I took him in, housed him, clothed him for seven months, gave him a, a car for, with gasoline in it, bought him, actually bought him a suit. Uh, he had no place to go. He was looking for a place to stay for four days. I took him in. He stayed for seven months. And he ended up being an FBI informant against me. And uh, he, he, he stole from me. He stole uh, all kinds of material and research from me. And then he goes out now, and he goes on the Internet, this guy Stu Webb, and he tells uh, the people that I'm a, uh, oh, I, I was practicing, I'm a practicing Satanist, that I was kicked out of the FBI for practicing satanic ceremonies in the federal building. And that's huh. the kind of junk. Well, I, I don't even really know that guy, but I mean, I, I mean, the issue is they call my wife up on unlisted numbers and tell her what her and I have been talking about on the phone. And then, and then women call up saying, I've gotten her, uh, uh, them pregnant. So it's just standard stuff uh, going on. But, 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 but you're saying today it's much worse. What do you see them doing with the Tea Party? Because every news channel is saying we're all racist, Klan members, and we're going to blow federal buildings up. The news is all saying I'm calling for violence when I'm calling for the opposite. Uh, break that down. Well, what, what they're doing is they've infiltrated every uh, group in, in America. They put, they've got their own people in there, their own informants, their own provocateurs in there, and they're going to stir up, stir them up. They're going to come up with the idea. Their their provocateurs are going to come up with the idea of doing some violent acts, and then try to set up set up the Tea Party itself uh, for these violent acts. And then, of course, that's when the FBI will come in and arrest everybody, and uh, they'll let, let their people go. The people that set it up, they'll be. Pretend like the prosecuting mill has disappeared out the back door, and uh, that'll be it. <laughs> well, that's like that's like Atari uh, up in Michigan. They're now saying that their FBI agent and informant were part of the nine-member group, but they still arrested all of them. Uh, but some of them are being held at other facilities, so we'll see them be released out the back door later. Absolutely, they'll, they'll release their own people, and then they'll go along another part of the country and work in with another group under another name and start all over again. Absolutely. That's exactly what's happening. Well, they've even caught the Democrats telling people to go out and dress like Nazis and go to tea parties. Uh, but uh, more and more of this is coming out. I mean, do you think the New World Order is in trouble? Well, uh, I hope that they're in trouble, uh, you know, because their people are waking up. And when I started talking about this like 30 years ago, I got out of the FBI in 1979. When I started talking about this 30 years ago and I came out and went public with this, people thought I was a kook, I was nuts, I was conspiracy theorist. Uh, but uh, now people are saying, you know, uh, looking back, you're right. And people are saying that to me on, on almost a daily basis. So I, I think people are waking up to what's going on thanks to shows like this, Alex, by the way. Yeah, but I, well, thank you, sir. But I go back over your research. I mean, you broke major cases that came out in the newspaper, but then the investigation would get shut down where the finders case with the CIA openly running child porn, everything else. I mean, you guys were busting them with the kids. I mean, I mean, I mean, you really have been tireless out there. And, and, and now we know that literally it's, it's like a satanic pedophile guild at the top well let's talk about that when we come back and how these people operate and what their new world order is what they want to build uh with ted gunderson uh, he ran the uh, southern california la uh, division one of the biggest posts of the fbi in the country a special agent in charge and he exposed the uh, the whole thing we'll be right back with ted gunderson from his hospital bed don't answer it if fear strikes your heart when the phone rings, knowing it may be another bill collector, it's time for you to call Zero Debt in 90 Days, 800-477-9256. Settlements, bankruptcy, and attorneys are not the answer and may end up costing you up to 10 times more than necessary. Listen, if you're already in debt, does it make sense to get buried in another payment plan? Zero Debt in 90 Days gets you out of debt in 90 days guaranteed without a payment plan and without attorneys or going to court. Get the fastest relief from debt on the planet when you call 800-477-9256. If you have debt with the IRS, credit cards, student loans, or a foreclosure, we can help at zero debt in 90 days, and we are the only organization to provide written guarantees on the results. Go to zerodebtguarantee.com. That's zerodebtguarantee.com. Or call now for free information, 800-477-9256. That's 800-477-9256. 
gold is it for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30% while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well, free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Here on the is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Remain in your houses. The President of the United States has declared martial law under Executive Order 11004. Will they do it? Will they pull the trigger this time? We all pray they stand down, but an engineered crisis seems more likely with each passing day. Think it can't happen here? Executive Order 10990 locks down all highways. Executive Order 10995 seizes control of all media outlets. Executive Order 10998 controls all farms and food supplies. All these executive orders are now cocked, loaded, and waiting for the right crisis. So if you're worried about the possibility of martial law here in America or have questions about how to survive it, go to MartialLawSurvival.com. That's MartialLawSurvival.com. Go to MartialLawSurvival.com right now. You must remain in your houses until your bracelets are scanned. Ted Gunderson, senior FBI agent, retired, fighting the New World Order for decades, is our guest. And he just had his bladder removed, and he's fighting, he's defeated cancer, so his doctor may come in any time, and he'll have to get off and call us back. Uh, But Ted Gunderson, short segment right now, long segment coming up. Uh, From your FBI training, from your research, a lot of your predictions you made over the decades unfortunately came true. How do you see the feds and the globalists from from their pre-programming on the news, because they always pre-program, I know you've been watching it, because we talked before you went on air, what type of attacks should we look out for to demonize the Patriot movement? Well, uh, first of all, they're, they're, they're going to make all kinds of wild allegations, like we mentioned Stu Webb, uh, to be an FBI informant. He could have said I was practicing satanic ceremonies in a federal building, which is the reason I was dismissed from the FBI, which, which is not true. Uh, they're they're going to use all kinds of disinformation like that against each one of us. Like I think they've accused you of being involved in pot or something else, uh, Alex. And a lot of crazy stuff. And uh, so they're going to they, they use those tactics, and then they are going to use their own infiltrators into the various groups. There was a supervisor, FBI supervisor out of Albuquerque, made the statement uh, publicly that, uh, that the FBI had infiltrated every patriot movement in the country. Well, they have. They got their informants out there. I know because back in the late 60s when I was active in the, uh, against the Black Panthers, uh, we, we, were, we were in, and also the Communist Party, we had uh, members and uh, people uh, uh, that were informants for us within every group in, the, in, the, in America. So they can go in there and disrupt the operation, uh, make uh, plans for a terrorist acts of some sort, and then blame it on the infiltrators uh, and, that, uh, and so forth. So it goes on and on and on. It's, it's a vicious uh, circle. And, you know, like, for example, you mentioned the children that were uh, 
Uh, but with being, we, we, I worked with Johnny Kemp on this case in Nebraska back in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, where they were flying children out of uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, they were actually were driving them to Sioux City, Iowa, 184 miles away, putting them in private jets, flying them to Washington, D.C. for sex or you with congressmen and senators. Well, then Rusty Nelson, the official photographer, who I interviewed, by the way, and have, I have him on tape, uh, would uh, would take pictures and then they blackmail the congressman and senators tell them how to vote. And that's what's happening in America today. And uh, we don't have enough people like Kucinich and Ron Paul standing up. Uh, and these other people have all been, uh, many of them have been blackmailed through children and through sex and through drugs and what have you. And, uh, of course, they're only interested in being reelected in, in, for the most part. So, so, so from your research,